there, it's Natasha and today I have a video for you of a card that I am making for my dad's birthday. This little tractor here is the focal point and that is one from AliExpress. I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside Borders to cut out this darker green cardstock. And then I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Grassy Border to cut out this uh, piece of grass for the bottom. You can get both of those dies from AliExpress as well. It just so happened that I had the branded ones already that I bought years ago. So I'm using what I have. I've also got here two of these fence dies. The one on the left, this one that I'm holding up now, is from AliExpress. The one on the right from W plus 9 is called Fence Border Die. I wasn't sure whether I wanted a larger fence or a smaller fence at this point. Um, further back in the distance or closer up, so I'm going to use both of them until I make my mind up. I'm using some Walnut Stain Distress Ink to create the background. I could have used some brown cardstock, but I wanted the motley effect that um, uh, this would give me. So I also bought these um, sponges from AliExpress, and someone had said that they were great for inking up to use as, um, you know, like instead of an ink tool. A blending tool sorry and I have used them a little bit I sometimes I get great results and sometimes not quite so smooth so but I wanted to use them here today because it doesn't matter how blotchy it is and I'm not being careful I'm just putting it on uh, also I'm going to speed up this part because uh, you all know how to add ink so that part is fine and as I said, it's just going to be really blotchy. doesn't matter how it goes on because you won't even notice in the end. So I'm going to cover this whole piece of scrap card using um, the sponges. And then I'm going to use this background stamp, which is a wood grain stamp from AliExpress. And ink it up using the same walnut stain ink. And then I'm going to put this piece of paper down. It doesn't matter if I get it a perfect impression or not. Because in the end you won't be able to tell it's a fence and you won't be looking that closely at it. I'm just using a baby wipe to um, clean up. As I've said before, my space, my crafting space is really, really small. So I need to clean up uh, as I go and put things away. So here I am, I'm just going to put both of these on and I'm going to tack them down using some post-it note tape. Any low tech tape will do just so that they stay still in where I want them as I run them through my cuddle bug machine. You'll notice here that I have a metal shim uh, in my sandwich and I have all, I just uh, always use it. I don't take it out. I don't use it on only some dies. I always use it. I get great results when I use it and uh, it's easier for me than taking it in out and out and out all the time. So someone pointed that out to me the other day. I got it from my local uh, craft store and I'm sure you'll be able to pick them up other places too. Here I'm noticing that I actually need two of these uh, wooden fence palings to go along the front and the die only cuts one at a time. So I need to uh, get my die back out again and recut another one to go down on the second layer. The second, the bottom one, sorry. So I've cut it out and I've got that long piece that I need for both of them now. And as I said, clean up my mess. I can't stand putting dies away with little bits of paper in them, so I need to make sure that they're all poked out before I pop it away. Okay, cleaning up. Got the bits that I need and I've put them aside. I, here I'm going to create some sky using some tumble glass distress ink. And this cloud um, die is one of three. That came in a set from AliExpress and I showed these in a recent haul video. I have used it to cut some cardstock and I'm just using that as a, a template or stencil and using the sponge dobber and the distress ink to create some clouds in the background. It's really hard to see on camera uh, very well but in real life you can, it looks uh, quite good. There were some spots where I was slightly heavy handed with the ink. I wasn't being very careful, uh, just trying to get through it fast as usual. And so you can see I've got some heavier spots of ink there. I will use some um, carefully distributed clouds later on to cover up those little heavier spots. I also thought that I wanted to make my fence palings a little bit uh, darker. So I'm just coming back and adding a little bit more 
distressing just to those bits so that they stand out from the rest of the fence. I'm going to add them in and I'm using this fine tip applicator bottle and inside here is some Ranger multi-medium glue in the matte finish rather than the gloss finish and you can buy the applicator bottles from AliExpress. I have a video on YouTube already showing these and uh, you can check that out and I have a link uh, in that video to buy them. These clouds came in, three of them came in a set and one came by itself I think and I've used the smallest cloud to cut out three little ones that you can see at the top. Here I can see that the die is not going to be long enough and I need those other little bits that would otherwise go on the gate. I'm going to have to add those in too. This part annoys me for the rest of the video and even now when I look at the card because I bump that um, the top little paling that's on the gate and it dries wonky forevermore. <laughs> and that still annoys me when I look at it now. Never mind. This is the little tractor I need to work on now. So um, my father is a farmer and he has uh, well, his main tractor is red, and so I want it to be a red tractor to match his, and I'm just poking out all the little bits in between. I had previously cut out some wheels, um, just using that same tractor die that I'm going to add on. This is the acetate that I'm going to use for the window, and I ever so carefully cut it out, and then I do my old trick of using far too much glue, and so when I put the glue down, You'll see in just a second that I smudge it everywhere and I can't handle having smudged windows. So I take it right off again and use it as a template to cut out another piece of acetate. And then without adding any more glue, I just uh, put it straight down and it stays fine. One day I will learn that lesson that I put too much glue on. So I'm using a little bit here and some black cardstock to fill in those little gaps because I don't want to be able to see through the tractor. And then I'm going to work on the wheels. For this next little bit I'm kind of off cam camera for some of it going back and forth so I really do apologise about that. Um, so for the wheels you'll also notice that they have a certain way to be. You have to keep turning them until you find exactly where they should be. And I didn't like that I could see the red through the wheels. Uh, so I cut the wheel off and I thought I could just get away with leaving those little bits. But I could still see them when I put them on. So I went all the way and cut everything off. Um, and then stuck the wheels on just using that top little bit that was left. And I'm going to do exactly the same for the front little wheel. Cut it all off and then just adhere it using that top little bit. So there's my tractor, he looks pretty cute, ready to go. And now I'm going to start putting my card together. Using some wet glue to adhere on the hill, the grassy hill, and then I'm going to put down the uh, light green grass. Just using the same, oh, I use I thought about using some foam tape but then I knew that I wanted to pop up the tractor so uh, it would collide a little bit so I'm just using liquid glue for the grass down the bottom as well. There are bits overhanging so turn the card over and trim them off. This card is a four and a quarter by five and a half card and it will take up the whole card front. I'm using some little foam squares and I'm going to pop each one of these, put a couple on each one of these clouds. And as I said, I'm going to uh, use some carefully placed clouds to hide what I didn't like about the sky. And luckily they just worked out to be fine places. So three little clouds. And then cut the top of that one, the overhang. Then I'm going to pop some foam tape on the back of my little tractor. And I was trying to cut around the wheel here and wasn't very successful, so I cut the whole thing off and put another little bit of foam on. Then I also remembered that I had purchased a Marvi um, snow marker a little while ago and never really used it. So it was sitting there staring me in the face, it just happened to be today. Uh, so in a minute I will get that out and use that too. And all you do is 
uh, put it on and it just comes out of a pen like a liquid and then you heat it up with your heat gun and it kind of puffs up and I thought it would be cute to look like a little bit of smoke from the um, tractor. So cut the overhang of the fence. And I really like this little card. I think Dad's going to like it. This is the snow marker, so you just shake it up really well and then add on the little bits. I just did three little puffs and then use my heat gun to uh, make it all puff up. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but it looks pretty cute in real life. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this card. Uh, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.